our second afternoon here in Texas. And we kind of gave up on the turkeys. They weren't moving and gobbling much. So we got our bows out and we're going to go after Axis. And we got in here last night and we saw a pile of them, probably 15 or 20. So we have high hopes for tonight. Hopefully they'll come back in. We're set up about 30 yards from where they were feeding on the hay bale out here in front of us. So we're going to sit here and see what we can do. good hunt this morning we saw several axis bucks come through but they came through about 100 yards down pretty good out of bow range and there was no no way I could sneak down there and do them so um, I had one come through right here behind me popped out behind the little cedar scrub brush right here 
and walked past me at about five yards and I was trying to get my bow and stuff and he walked past me and went straight away from me so I never did get a shot on him but we're gonna try again this evening hopefully they'll be moving good this evening come out to the feeders or something so we're gonna see what we can do this afternoon we're gonna go grab some lunch and take a nap and get ready to get back after it all right well it's our last afternoon here in Texas we still have tomorrow morning but the mornings haven't been so good here for the axis but we're gonna try it again this afternoon last night we had a bunch of them come in here and eat but we weren't able to get a good broadside shot on any of them so hopefully they'll come back tonight and I'll be able to get it done but I'm afraid they might be a little bit spooked out of here we've hunted here two nights in a row now and saw them both times so this will be the third night hunting this spot and so I'm hoping they're not too scared but I guess we'll sit here and see what happens. just got back to the house here and looked at the video a little better I feel a little bit better about the shot but it's still pretty bad it was way way back right in front of the back legs um, about mid height up from the bottom and it's about the perfect height but it was a little way back so we found a lot of blood we'll probably let him sit overnight probably go back in the morning and see if we can't find him since there was quite a bit of blood so that's the plan so unless we decide to do something different but hopefully we'll find him in the morning and hopefully he didn't go too far we tracked him pretty far and found a lot of blood but maybe he didn't make it too far so that's what we're hoping it's gonna be a sleepless night but we're gonna try it Good morning. 
think it's daylight. We're just sitting 100 yards from where I shot him, but the last blood is just down this trail here, about 300 yards or so. We tracked him about 400 yards last night, so we still have good blood, so we're hoping to go back. Maybe it'll be pretty close, but we're going to see what we can find. Hey Jeff. I didn't see no blood on the I saw him for a while now. <laughs> I was looking up for a long time trying to find him and then all of a sudden I saw a big old white belly that yep I was gonna let you just keep finding him but I was afraid you were gonna tell somebody to start coming over here Looks like coyotes might have tried eating on him or something They chew on his antler. I broke off. It's bleeding on his belt, dude. Huh. All right. Well, we just came back out here. We started tracking him from where I stopped last night, and we tracked him probably. 150, 200 yards, and spotted him laying up here in the bushes. But the coyotes already got to him a little bit, but not too bad, so hopefully he'll still be good. It was cold last night, so he should still be fine. But super happy, my first axis buck, and I got him with a bow, so it's pretty cool. I walked that whole fence because he was parked down there at the windmill and I was parked right there at the line. And I walked that whole fence back and forth between me and him. I was like, there ain't nothing here. So he couldn't have made it out of that fence. Then that other buck you said was with him last night, he came out while we were sitting in here and he wasn't with it, so it kind of told us something. 